hey, my buddy Jim Hagerman sent me this guy. So let's say we check out this new tube-driven Quan-style overdrive pedal. Shall we? Okay, I don't normally do this. Uh, and by this, I mean open up the back of a pedal and, you know, show the guts or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, because, frankly, when it comes to circuitry and, you know, how pedals are made and, you know, what components are used and, you know, and again, the circuit that it's based off of and all that kind of, you know, one, I don't understand it. And two, I don't really care. I have no interest in it whatsoever. That It does not interest me. But in this particular instance, I'm going to do so because, as I mentioned in the uh, intro of the video, this is actually a tube, uh, a preamp tube driven uh, Klon style overdrive pedal. And uh, the tube is not visible from the, you know, the, it, you know uh, Jim didn't put a cage or anything, you know, a tube cage or a window or anything like that that we could see it. So uh, I'm going to take it apart and uh, examine the tube that's on the inside. All right, all four screws removed. There's that, ah, oh, it's, a, it's a circuit board. Okay, so that is what that looks like. And as you can see, obviously there is, uh, there is a tube in there and that looks like it is, there is a socket. You know, it is, it is an actual tube socket so that means looks like a 12ax7 or something like that i'll have to check the paperwork on it and see what it uh see what tube type that is I'm sure it's a 12ax7 12at7 something like that uh regardless we can change the tube out should we need you know should we want to do so and then the back of the tube you know the back plate just goes right back on so no, I'm not going to disassemble this thing all the way and examine all the circuitry at all. It's, like I said, that's that's uh, you know there's there's plenty of channels out there that uh, that cover that kind of stuff. This ain't one of them. Uh, but I did want to show that this is actually a tube-driven overdrive that you're hearing uh, in this video. So it's got a tube in it. I own a few other Klon style. Uh, overdrive pedals such as the electron electroharmonic soul food uh, I have a, a custom pedal from my buddy Park Kingery at Parks Custom Pedals uh, that's a Klon style overdrive that he sent me probably one or two others around here that I'm, uh, that I'm forgetting about you know I own a few Klon style overdrives you know the circuit itself in my opinion is okay I mean it's, it's probably not my favorite overdrive uh, overdrive circuit but it sounds okay it certainly gets the job done uh, however, none of those that I have are a tube-driven overdrive, so we're going to see just how much that this, the tube in this guy, might actually enhance the tone. So Jim contacted me and asked me if I wanted to demo this thing. He's been selling this pedal uh, as a kit. So you know, you, you used to be you order the order this thing as a kit, you get all the components, and then you build it and put it together yourself. A lot of people have interest in doing that sort of thing. Uh, he recently, Jim though, has decided to start selling this uh, as one of his uh, uh, standard product line pedals. So now, if you are not somebody that uh, is good with a soldering iron or you don't have any desire to be good with a soldering iron or anything like that, you just want to buy the pedal, plug it in and go, like me, now you can do so. 
Very, very simple three knob overdrive. Let's do a playthrough demo on it and hear how it sounds unprocessed. I've demoed several pedals from this company now and I've been very pleased with every single one of them. So I'm going to read the email that Jim sent me uh, regarding, how, regarding how he has designed this, uh, designed this particular circuit. It should sound a lot like a Klon with a gain at 9 or 10 o'clock, so think of an actual Klon pedal with a gain, you know, again, you know, third, you know, quarter of the way up, quarter, third of the way up, you know, set pretty low with two Klon gain at minimum. However, once you crank it up, it takes a turn. Instead of using a clipping op amp to simulate a crank tube amp, I use a tube. So the, you know he's using the tube to replace what the uh, what the clipping op amp would is normally doing in the actual Klon circuit. Uh, so something a little bit it's a little bit different than what we normally see with Klon pedals. Uh, this particular unit he says is a one-off, so you know this one it's not really a prototype. I think what you hear, what you see on the inside is going to be what you're going to get. Uh, but he is changing the color for the rest of the production to be not so glossy. You can see this one does have a gloss to it. Uh, and he's also adding a horse graphic to it, to obviously to identify it and make it a little bit more recognizable for what it's supposed to be. Uh, that combined with the name of the pedal, Tube Klon, ought to be pretty uh, self-explanatory to any pedal fanatic by that point. So, great design, uh, a lot of fun to use. I've demoed several pedals for Hagerman amplification at this point, uh, and I've enjoyed every single one of them. This may be my favorite one of the bunch so far. I haven't demoed, uh, tried all of his products, but the ones that I have tried, this is pretty cool. For the assembled pedal, you know, the non-kit version, in other words, you, you place the order and this is what you get in the mail, something ready to go out of the box. No soldering iron or anything like that needed. For this version of this particular pedal is 249. I will post a link to the Hagerman Effects website where you can check these out, uh, which you should all do. The other, another thing you should all do is subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, as well as comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on the Hagerman Effects tube clon pedal, because I'd love to hear your thoughts.
Adiós.